Hi, it's Gab. I want to say a special hi to any of my new viewers. Hope I'm getting some, and especially the people I met today in the theater where we saw District 9. Nine. I've been anticipating this uh, movie for uh, most of the summer, uh, especially considering the other movies I've been seeing this summer. Uh, the buzz was building, sounded really good, sounded like it had a lot going for it, and it does. This is brought to us by Peter Jackson, uh, but the director is an unknown to us, uh, South African, set in South Africa, starring South Africans. I've been to South Africa, but I didn't see anything like this, what was going on in this movie. What's going on in this movie is that in present day, there is an alien race that um, has been uh, around for about 20-25 years. They arrived at South Africa, seemingly maybe fleeing from their home uh, territory uh, like refugees, and were subsequently treated um, somewhat hostily by, as refugees, put in internment camps, disliked by the human, the South African population, very uneasy coexistence with uh, humans and specifically um, the authorities and bureaucracy of government and military. And what triggers the central action is that uh, the government in all its wisdom decides to move this race farther from the, uh, the urban center of Johannesburg and the, and the main human population. And uh, so they send their flacky, who's the central character, uh, Vikas, to so go in and initiate this along with the military and, and um, try to get these, uh, this alien race moving along. This race um, are taller than humans, uh, just to let you picture them, have a somewhat um, insect look, are referred to as prawns, so I guess you could say a bit of a prawn look, and definitely the existence they have in these camps is a very much a sort of a scavenger, uh, bottom feeding uh, kind of existence, um, which they've devolved into because of their circumstances. Um, they, they aren't portrayed as evil otherwise, but they've become uh, very animalistic because of the conditions they've been forced to live in. Um, and as I say, are definitely not liked by the human race. And this character, Vicus, um, in, in his intera interaction becomes infected. It's a bit of a complicated long story I won't get into, but he does become infected with alien DNA, uh, which starts to trigger what we understand will be a metamorphosis, um, which he doesn't take too kindly to, so he then becomes um, a, a not a parasite, but uh, certainly not uh, liked by his fellow man and pursued and an enemy of the state, so to speak. And he has to form uh, somewhat of an alliance, uh, bromance, if you will, with a central alien character, Christopher, who also, they need each other um, for, for their survival. Of, of course, a bit of a cliche, but that's okay, because uh, it's a really humanistic story that we get pulled into. Uh, the fate of these two characters, how their fates are, are entwined with each other. Uh, it doesn't hurt that the, the alien character has a, a child, an alien child, which um, just further enhances that um, emotional uh, engagement that the, that, the, that the audience has with what's going on. I was... I was definitely engaged. I was jiggling in my seat, chewing my thumbs. There's a lot of action, but the whole time you you just want to know what's going to become of these characters. Um, how could there possibly be any kind of happy ending? What is the definition of a happy ending in this story? And uh, but meanwhile, a lot of action, a lot of gore. Warning to you, very uh, gory. The the. What Victor, Vic, Vicus goes through is uh, very reminiscent of The Fly, David Cronenberg's version of The Fly. So that gives you an idea of that element of grossness. And then the, the, the more military style violence um, results in a lot of deaths, let's put it that way. Um, so a very action driven film, um, yet also um, poignant moments, uh, moral dilemmas, um, interesting character uh, development. And, uh, I mean, in speaking of the themes, obviously there's going to be very strong moral and social themes. Uh, there's no denying that. If anything, they're a bit heavy-handed, but that's excused in the uh, context of this just very, very interesting, engaging, and fresh-looking story. Um, Reminiscent of many um, sci-fi films we've all seen, um, I was thinking about 28 Days Later, The Fly, as I mentioned, uh, the look of it, even the V, the miniseries, The Mothership, or Independence Day, um, E.T., 
wanting to go home, uh, even that old movie Enemy Mine. I mean, I, it was conjuring a lot of these um, conventions, but not in a bad way, in, a, in, a, in such a way that it just enhanced what was going on because it made you realize there was a lot going on. Many layers, um, complexity, this film has a lot uh, going for it. The central performance, uh, the character of Vickis, wonderful performance. Um, I can't say enough about this guy who I don't know what his name is, but um, full marks. He's in almost every scene, carries the whole story, carries us along with him. The effects, um, I had a bit of trouble with the way the aliens looked in the beginning, especially the long shots looked quite CGI to me, almost robotic, but as you get more drawn in and you see more close-ups of the aliens, a very organic look, obviously actors in suits, makeup, computer effects, um, and really amazing things going on on the, in their faces and their bodies almost made me think of the Transformers, the way all the moving parts um, are going on, and um, so really quite impressive. The, the art direction, the cinematography, again, we've seen this before, grainy, you know, grays and, and browns, uh, handheld HD camera, even the summer in the new Terminator film, but that film had no substance, so their style means nothing without substance, and as I said, District 9 delivers on every level. I definitely recommend this film if you can't tell. Uh, I would recommend trying to see it in the theater. Uh, again, beware of the gore, but otherwise, um, finally, the end of summer 09, or towards the end, is a film that I left feeling like I really had uh, a film uh, and story experience, and I will not soon uh, forget this one. So check it out, and thanks for watching.